Hey y'all, how are y'all today? How y'all doing? Hey guys, hi everyone. Y'all, I have breaking news today. I have breaking news and I am not gonna hold y'all long. Hey Yvonne. Let me tell y'all right now, let me invite some people because this just does not, this don't make no kind of sense of what's going on today. I don't know why my phone keep breaking up. It's just uh, the devil. The devil. But I want to show y'all something really quick. So let me invite y'all in. Because this just, it just don't make no sense. I'm sick and tired of it. We've been going through this. We've been going through this, y'all, for four days. I'm going to show y'all. Wait a minute. So, y'all know that I got this stick on my teeth. No, felt like it. Okay, so let me say, y'all, hi, everyone. I know I wasn't on um, yesterday or whatever. I've been really, really busy. I have. And, and then I just got a, um, I just got a, 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 a performance that I'm doing on the 23rd. But that's not what I'm talking about. Wait a minute. I just want to bring y'all on first. Let my car cool off. And I got some stuff I want to discuss with y'all real quick. Real quick. I'm not even going to hold y'all long. I'm not. So, I, I guess it's about enough people. Alright, so. Okay, so we have had a, a water main break, right? We have had a water main break, y'all, four days ago. Four days ago. In our area. And it's crazy. We get, yeah, let me see, yeah, Wednesday is when it broke, right? I'm going to show y'all something. So it broke Wednesday. See the water? Right across the my house. See the water? So the water broke Wednesday. Wednesday, the water broke. So we have been calling. We all called the city. And, and, and I'm not just bragging because we're all homeowners, but we all are pe taxpayers too. You understand? So we called about this right here. We called about this on Wednesday. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three days ago. We called about this. The guy was out here on Tuesday working on the street. Now he went down there at the sewer hole right here and he did something here. And then we get off of work and all of our water, all of this water has been like just, just something, a pipe has broke. You understand? Don't know what he did, but it's not our street only. It's several streets. So this been going like this, y'all, since Wednesday. We called 311. 311 said, and it's getting soft. I ain't going to step on it, but it's like getting soft right here. So stop sign. Y'all see the stop sign? So the stop sign is right there. So, okay. So we are setting, we, we all called about this water main break. And you know what 311 said? They said, oh, it's not an emergency. So being as though it's not an emergency, they not sending nobody out yet to repair this. So I said, well, I'm going to do better than that. I'm going to call directly the water bureau. So I called the 410-396 number, right? And guess what? It, it goes directly to 311. Did y'all know that? So what we did, so I pressed one again. So she was like, oh, well, all of your neighbors has been calling. So um, if you want, you I can give you the confirmation number. I said the confirmation number, miss. So then what will happen is y'all will come out and fix this and act like y'all don't even know that this was broke. And then y'all try to put it on our water bill. All right, and if you don't do that, so let's just say, look, cars got to literally stop and ride through it. So if this softens, because if you know anything about this black tar, you know when it get hot, you know we used to use this for scouting. Y'all remember that? So that's what the street is made up of now, is the black tar. So you got this right here running, and then you turn right here, and then look at the fire hydrant. So, okay, so if one of our houses catch fire, are you not going to be able to look at the water? Y'all hear it? See the water? The water is literally dripping out of the fire hydrant. So this that's this right here too. So my question again is, so okay, so if they don't never come and repair this, so how long it got to take? Seven to ten business days for actually water to be escaping? And it's so crazy because the day that the man was out here got off of work that day, I was mad because I didn't know what was going on. I thought that my toilet, like Reggie, like, yeah, had my toilet real dirty. I was about to. 
people off. But then um, I talked to my neighbor and she said, no, they was working on, you know, Al Street. And with them working on Al Street, what they did was they did something with the water. So that's why our toilet water was dirty like that. So I said, okay, because, you know, yeah, I, I just can't do nothing dirty and no no brown inside of no daggone toilet or whatever. And then the sad thing about it is it's not even just that one right there. So now I'm going to go right up a block away on my street. I'm going to go a block away and I'm going to show you again where the water is escaping. The water is actually escaping again. So my question to Catherine Pooh, Miss Pooh, Mayor Pooh, you are not there for our community. And I'm so disgusted with myself because I voted her in. You understand? You're not there for my community. They talking about all these killers and shooters that's going on, but you I was at Madarman at some type of something night or something like that in another. It's ridiculous. Like, what are you doing for our city? So why right, then? So I just pulled right up the street so so i so i just pulled right up the street from my house i just pulled right up the street from my house so here it go again so look so now we got more water on our street and this is another one that's leaking so so this is block away look so now so look this shit is leaking again so now this is another one and you know what it must be backed up because look you see what I'm saying? So it must be backed up. And then it's running down our street. So if this is the case right here, so why are they not out here fixing our water? We called several times. We several times. This is right up the street from my house. So we called several times about the water and they have not repaired our water yet. But not only not only are we a homeowners, I don't care about that. But we're we're taxpayers. We're taxpayers. So with us being taxpayers, payers, I don't understand why the hell they can't come and fix our water. But if we was in a county, that's what would have happened. That would have been would have been fixed the hour that somebody first discovered it. You see what I'm saying? So this is ridiculous. It's unacceptable. It's unprofessional. And Miss Pooh, I hope you enjoy your four years in this office. Because my God, if I got anything to do with it, and, and, and I know I got so many supporters, we're not voting for you ever, ever, ever again. Because you have not done anything for this city. The murder rates are constantly going up. What is your plan? I remember last year when I was on here pleading with having a meeting with them. I was asking, what is the plan? Do y'all remember that? Remember she said it's a plan? And what I tell y'all, it seemed like every time I come on my show, she comes on the news later talking about plans as if somebody from my office must be listening to my show or watching. I'm nobody. I know I'm not. I'm just Nicole Taylor. Absolutely. But I am a citizen of Baltimore City now. Okay, I'm not in Anne Arundel County anymore. I'm living in the city. On the county city line is where I reside. So as long as I have to pay all these high-ass taxes and this high-ass water bill every month because you went from, they went from three months to one month of paying a water bill and you're going to treat us like this, this is unacceptable. I hope you guys, I hope you guys do not go through the same issue in your community and if you do then y'all need to make a video about it and put them out there put them on blast because this just don't make no sense that we have not like our water pressure is not down in our house granted but so what why should we have to go through this you want we no one has to go through this so, I mean, you know, that's what I got for y'all. Like, this is crazy. It's ridiculous. It don't make no sense. You know? But she want to be in somebody more dormant shaking off. Like, that's, that's what? Like, you shaking off to somebody's back to school something or another. But, but, right across the street, somebody getting murdered. Right down the street on the avenue, somebody getting stabbed up. Right up the street, somebody's getting uh sexually abused. Right in Mar Dorm, and somebody, somebody probably going to um, get in domestic violence. Like, it's ridiculous. And I'm sick and tired of it. And y'all know, y'all never really hear me coming on here squawking like this. And then the sad thing about it, look at this though, but look what they did on Frederick Avenue. But yeah, but they came around here and they jumped on this though, didn't they? Look, they, getting, they gotta repair all concrete. 
all concrete from when all of this was underwater. Now, when the hell y'all know Frederick Avenue and Beachville to ever go under some water? You know where that come from, don't you? It comes from the soil holes, the soil pipes, the soil holes got to be backed up. They got to be in order for all of this foolishness right here to be going on. Look, they put all this new concrete, but they still got this nasty ass house sitting up. Look at this. That they just put some wood around it to stabilize the house. Why would you stabilize? That's an abandoned home. That needs to be knocked down, destroyed. I don't care who property it is. It should be the cities by now. You know, like, look at this, y'all. Like, look at Frederick Avenue. You know, they call that stuff patching up. Look at how ugly the street is. You got three different shades of streets. But they made sure these homeowners, they made sure they got new sidewalks. That's it. And probably writing everybody off a check for the way their houses got flooded out. This is ridiculous. This is unacceptable. This just don't, this, oh my goodness, man. Look. But got them out here. Got, look. Got, got the Hanukkahs, Hanukkahs out here on a Saturday. Got them out here on a Saturday. Doing nothing but sidewalk. And half of them probably immigrants. Yeah, man, this is crazy. This is horrible. This is horrible, y'all. This don't make no sense. But we pay our tax dollars. We pay our tax dollars every goddamn on uh, a year or annually or, or, or whatever. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So if you guys can just help us and y'all can get on their nerves and call 311 and let them know Cedar Garden um, the water is leaking and it's been leaking now for four days and you know it's unacceptable like the late like miss listen listen Becky I did not tell you to choose that job you chose that job I don't care if it's a city job or what but you chose that job you chose to deal with the communities that's what she chose to do. Answer the phone. You chose to be a a, a temp a, a temp because you ain't no emergency because you a temp type of a, a, a dispatcher for the city. Whatever position you may have had, and they took they took it from you, and they came up with this old three one one thing. Okay, I guess it comes from four one one. Remember, it's called four one one for information. I guess it's the same thing. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Even if four one one wasn't one, I'm for for uh, what was four one one? Might have been the time or something. I don't know what it was. I don't care. But at the end of the day, this is unacceptable. Now, as soon as you get up on Frederick Avenue in the county, and uh, what's this called, y'all? Um, Parkside. No, what is this called, y'all? Um, Paradise. Yeah. Look at the street. Look at the street up here. Look at the street. The street is even. They even got bike lines. They got bike. Look. Bike routes. Bike lanes. Yeah. This is crazy. This is ridiculous. And I'm just fucking tired. I'm tired of it. It don't make no sense. And yep, I'm going to make a video until they repair it. Every day I come out the house, I'm going to make a video and they talk about this is the land of the free. Where? Where? This is horrible. You should not have to live like this. It does not take a rocket scientist to send a blue truck out or whatever. This is an emergency. But as soon as as soon as the houses get flooded, then yeah, then then it's an emergency. But I don't care, baby, because guess what? I keep insurance so on, on my home and my vehicle and my sons. So guess what? Let it flood. Let it flood. And I bet you y'all going to see me again. Uh-huh. With my roller skates on and a canoe. Yes, y'all are <laughs> paddling because I'm going to be waiting for my lawyer. Yes, Stavinsky. Jeff Stavinsky. I'm going to be waiting for my lawyer. Shout out to you, Jeff. Yes, because I'm going to sue the shit out the city because I'm not going to play with them. And I mean it. So, all right, y'all, on a good note, y'all, because that shit pissed me off. I swear that shit pissed me off. And y'all know I'm working on my damn cussing, but that shit pissed me off. So, all right, y'all, on a good note, tomorrow, God's willing, no rain, no rain, no rain. He said it's going to rain today. Thank God it didn't rain. I don't know what it's going to do later, but it ain't raining now. 
So listen, y'all. God's willing, y'all. Y'all know that zone 15, y'all. Y'all know we parties. Y'all know we turns up. Tomorrow, 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 yes, is our um, annual big cookout. Woohoo! At CC Jackson, y'all, from 2 o'clock, I believe it's from 2 to 8. And we will just love for everyone to come. Come in peace. Leave, leave, leave with love in your heart. Yes, yes, come in peace. Leave with love in your heart. Bring your chairs, bring your tents, or whatever. Just come on out, y'all, because, um, yeah, man, we, we got to get back. It's so sad that, you know, all of this stuff decided um came about after that little baby taylor you know uh was murdered but guess what man we gotta keep we gotta keep it going we gotta keep it going you know god's willing man you know we gotta keep it going we just do you know when god blesses you in order for you to get it in tenfolds man you gotta bless somebody else that's hands down like that's that's a no-brainer like you cannot keep it all to yourself when you keep it to yourself you miserable by yourself absolutely so i mean you know that's all i got for y'all i'm out here i'm ready to hang out for a little while just came outside for a little while was very tight yesterday when i got this old ninja bun and got some twine put in it you know me i'm always doing something different y'all know me crazy but um i like it it's cute it's cute it's it's all right it's it's all right um so anyway, y'all, y'all have a great, amazing day. And uh, man, y'all be blessed, man. And tell man, and tell them kids, man, put them guns down. You see some young guys about to fight, man. Stop your car and say something to them. Ain't no reason why you why you keep turning the other cheek. Don't turn don't turn no other cheek. No, no, no. Don't turn the other cheek. No. Say something to them, black men. Y'all didn't get where y'all at just by winging a prayer. Y'all got there because guess what? Y'all knew how to reconcile. Y'all knew how to squash beefs. So come on, man. Do the same for the youngsters. You know, look at them like he your son. You know, look at them like that's your girlfriend's son. Look at them like that's your nephew. Just do something. All right, then, y'all. I love y'all, man. I really do. I love y'all, man. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody tomorrow. Y'all know me. I'm really starting to hang out, ain't I? Y'all know I ain't really like all that. Oh, my goodness. You in the fast lane, really? Going this slow? This is unbelievable. <sighs> this crazy. I don't know, man. These folks is crazy. But all right, then, y'all. I love y'all. Talk to y'all later. Have a great day. Listen, if y'all ain't got no gas and y'all ain't got no dead going um, air condition, don't come outside, y'all, until after the sun goes down. All right? Because it's hot out here. Talk to y'all later. And drink plenty of fluids. All right, y'all. Bye.